Hey there everybody in YouTube land and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the two-step flow theory. This theory is looking at the role of the mass media, opinion leaders, and also the audience. So the two-step flow theory has gained popularity over time. See, originally people believed in the hypodermic syringe theory. This is looking at a theory that believed that the mass media had a ton of impact over people. That they would just say something, people would take it in like a drug, and then react right away. If you need more information on that theory, you can check out my video on it. However, the two-step flow theory takes this approach and kind of elaborates on it. See, the two-step flow theory believes that it's a little bit more complicated of a relationship. What the two-step theory believes is that the mass media is not just the only one that is disseminating information to the masses. What happens is you have the mass media and then we have opinion leaders. These are people in society that follow the news or politics or what's going on in the world very closely. Then they decide what's important for them and they talk about it and they spread that information and people listen to them because they trust them. And this is becoming even more prominent. In the day of fake news and mistrust of the media, more and more people are getting their news from people they trust. And less people are trusting the mass media. To so make sure you're understanding this theory, I thought it'd be good to give you a good visual. We can see in this visual here, we have the mass media on the top. The mass media is the one that's talking about politics, the world, the economy, everything that's going on. And underneath the mass media, we have these opinion leaders. Now, the opinion leaders are deciphering all this information. They're deciding what they find relevant and what they find not relevant. They're taking the information from the mass media. Then the opinion leaders are deciding what information to pass on to their followers. Underneath them are the people that listen to these opinion leaders. They're the ones who get information from them. They trust these opinion leaders. So these opinion leaders have a lot of influence. And this is how the flow of information works. And a lot of people are looking at this and saying, hey, this could be our society today. Let's get into a couple examples to make sure you're understanding how this theory works in action. Today you might know opinion leaders as social media influencers. These are people who actually are on YouTube or Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, that have a lot of power. They have a lot of followers. And so brands will actually market to them to get them to promote certain products. We could see this as the success of Fortnite or Apex Legends. Apex Legends took off by paying a bunch of YouTubers to promote the game. They paid all these streamers to stream the game. They spent a ton of money on marketing to get the word of mouth out right away. People who followed these streamers now all of a sudden were watching them play Apex Legends or Fortnite and they started to become interested in the game and then they started to play it. Information was diffused through these opinion leaders, through these media influencers. We could also see this happening when people watch shows like Last Week Tonight by John Oliver or The Late Show with Stephen Colbert or The Ben Shapiro Show. All of these are shows that talk about politics and talk about the world today. And they could take all the information that they're getting from the media, that they're getting from their research and telling their viewers. And then their viewers accept it as fact or if they don't like the show, they maybe go against it. But they're opinion leaders informing people about what's occurring. Even today when we have people people saying that the media is fake and it's all fake news. They are going to their sources that they say are trustworthy, these opinion leaders. President Trump is his opinion leader for a lot of individuals within the United States who believe he is telling the truth and the media has been lying about him. Opinion leaders take shape and form in all different sizes and it can be different for each individual because people develop trust with certain individuals based on their own experiences. One issue that comes up with this theory is it's a little bit limiting. What happens when someone gets information from an opinion leader and then they diffuse that information to someone else? This just focuses on the first couple steps of the diffusion of information. So that is one of the criticisms of this theory. Also another thing about this theory is if it's actually happening that means that people are no longer necessarily searching for facts. They're searching for someone they trust and they're getting a skewed perspective. And that could have other ramifications on society. And that's left up for people to debate another time. And that's the main things you need to know about the two-step flow theory. If you think this theory is working currently today, if this is how the media and how people are getting their information, let me know in the comments below. Or let me know if you have any other examples of this theory in action. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. My name's Mr. Sin. Thank you for stopping by today. And until next time, I'll see you online.